I'm asking people to help me to find my granddaughter. I've had dreams of winter, um, so I think I, w I was feeling something. Um, I, I don't know why this happened. Um, I just believe that something good can come out of this, some, something that could just show the faith and how it works. So we're talking about Winter Smith, two years old, abducted from her home in Lansing, and then that is the last anyone has seen of her. Now, we can tell you that in addition to this, the suspect, the man who was believed to have kidnapped her, he is in police custody. I also want to talk about her mom, who is uh, in stable condition right now, but in a hospital because police say that the suspect her uh, before abducting her child. And we also want to point out, too, that he is the ex-boyfriend of the mother, but police say he is not, and I want to repeat, not the father of this child. Fair use disclaimer, the copyright laws of the United States recognizes a fair use of copyright content. Section 107 of the United States Copyright Act states, notwithstanding the provisions of sections 106 and 106A, the fair use of a copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction, in copies or phone records or by any other means specified by that section for purposes such as criticism, comments, news, reporting, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarships, or research is not an infringement of copyright. This video and YouTube channel in general may contain copyrighted works that were not specifically authorized to be used by the copyright holders, but which we believe in good faith are protected by federal law and the fair use doctrine for one or more of the reasons noted above. Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Old and New. This story is out of Detroit. This monster, an evil, creepy looking devil y'all see on your devices is 26 year old Rashad Malik Trice, who got into an intense argument with his girlfriend, Samari Cole, that led to him brutally assaulting her with the kitchen item. Samari Cole ran out of the house to get help and that this monster decided it would be a great idea to kidnap her two-year-old daughter winter smith um he stole samari's car that led to a police high-speed chase and once captured baby winter was not in the car that called for an amber alert and sadly after three long days y'all two-year-old winter was found in the detroit alley listen to this Fox 2 article reads, Rashad Trice, the man accused of kidnapping Winter Cole Smith, is facing federal charges stemming from the girl's disappearance and unaliving her. Trice 26 was charged federally Friday with kidnapping a minor and kid kidnapping resulted in unaliving. The statutory mandatory minim minimum for kidnapping result in unaliving charges is life in prison. He is accused of taking the two-year-old from Lansing on Sunday after attacking her mom. Trice was arrested in St. Clair Shores on Monday after fleeing the police and crashing the car. He alleged allegedly stole when he was caught. Winter was not with him, prompting an Amber Alert. Winter was found Wednesday night in Detroit in a Detroit alley after um, phone location data led investigators to that area. The allegations in this case are heart-wrenching, um, said the U.S. attorney. Trice has previously been charged with assault, 
with intent to unalive two counts of criminal s conduct home invasion unlawful imprisonment domestic v unlawful driving away and felonious assault he hasn't been charged in connection with winters unaliving yet but more charges could be coming our top priority is to get justice for winter and her family um said the police department this is sad y'all take a listen to some highlights and horrible details of what happened and the capture of rashad trice along with the gratitude and appreciation from the cole family this devil should never have been on the streets family in mourning on the day we learned her alleged kidnapper will face federal charges in her disappearance prince and family are set to gather to honor the far too short life of winter cole smith kidnapped of two-year-old winter smith has broken so many hearts across metro detroit it really has we've been telling you about the federal charges announced a few hours ago against her mother's former boyfriend if possible the case becomes even more disturbing as we learn more about how little winter Kimberly, it's awful. Uh, I want to show you what's happening behind me. Winter's basically paternal family is out here prepping for a vigil. We're going to take you to that as soon as that starts in a little bit. Um, but I've talked to her grandmother, her paternal grandmother out here tonight. They have seen what the federal prosecutors have charged here. And what they are saying is that Winter was struck with a pink cell phone cord. Rashad Trice is accused of kidnapping and kidnapping leading to the feds spell out with pictures and text messages what they say happened here. Trice was in Lansing Sunday night in a terrible fight with Winter's mother. They were arguing over money. It was violent and physical. When she ran for help, they say Trice snatched Winter, who is not his child, and then began his trek down to Metro Detroit. Ultimately, little girl by her with a pink cell phone cord, parts of which were found in the car he stole, as well as on Winter's body, where he dumped her on the city's east side. The feds providing text messages from Trice's uncle, telling him he can help him, that it's all Winter's mother's fault. In his reply, you can see where his thought process was. How can you attack a two-year-old? Like, how can a grown man attack I, I can't process that and that's going to take time and so the family is um i know for me i can speak for me I, i'm looking for mental health back here live vigil going to start here shortly and i think there's an important distinction to be made kimberly and devon these are federal charges coming out of the u.s attorney's office in the western district of michigan that means grand rapids and because these are federal charges it means trice if he is convicted is multi eligible is so heartbreaking and the video so hard to watch. I was on the edge of my seat watching it minute by minute. You are going to see the car seat in the back seat where authorities believe winter was at one point. There's a time where they actually open up the trunk where you can feel the tension and the nerves of the officers opening, wondering if winter is there. There's a lot to the video. Take a look, but let me warn you, the video is intense. 446 in the morning of July 3rd. Southbound from 11. St. Clair Shores police in pursuit. Right lane slowing down to 10. Officers have the suspect's car in sight. And what's the plate on that? Oh, this is a Chevy Malibu right here. Yeah. He just tried to swerve in his car. The car they're chasing belongs to the mother of Winter Smith. Winter is missing, and police are in a frantic search to find the two-year-old. 6098, yep, that's it. It's at Maple and Little Mac where the suspect crashes into a police car and comes to a stop. Hands up! Bleeding from the crash, officers pull Trice out of the car. Keep him out of this. Get your hand behind your back. Now! Once the suspect is caught, the next thought is, where is Winter? I'm not seeing a child in the backseat right now. Hey, hey, Al, pop that truck, Al. Pop the trunk. Where's the baby? Officers look in the car. You can see Winter's car seat in the back. Then officers surround the trunk. <laughs> Empty. What's your name? Uh, Rashad Trice. Rashad Trice. Yeah. Trice then goes on to complain about his injuries. EMS is going to have to check this uh, suspect out as well. He's got some lacerations. Hey, we got time. Let's go. You're just hating about five times. Yeah, well, you're fighting. Walk. Let's go. Walk. 
He was veering toward the oncoming police car. Okay. Started taking off at a high rate of speed again southbound. So he and Ely were coming this way. He veered this way. Ely hit him this way. Okay, so he pulled right. There was no way Ely could have avoided that. He refused to get out of the car. He had to bust out the window. Um, he tried to grab East Point. Got him out. Got him caught. Two people in the car? One. I just said that. No child. No child. Meantime, back at the curb, officers check on Trice. Other than being involved in a decent car accident, are you okay? Your eyes hurt, your hips hurt. We're going to get you treatment, we're going to get you a hospital to look at, okay? Fair enough. I think you will be. You got a long, long road ahead of you. But you'll be okay. And then, these words. I can't say so. I can tell you now. Police did search the vehicle. They found a pink cell phone charging cord on the floor of the car, consistent with portions of a pink charging cord found near Winter's body. According to the complaint, Winter's dead. regulation, we're still waiting for a final report. Once through such a traumatic um, transformation. Today marks five days since Waleen Cannon learned that her two-year-old granddaughter gained her wings. We're getting through. And five days since Samari Cole, who didn't want to go on camera, lost her daughter. But today they're sending thanks to the community. It's been really helpful. Um, and thanks for everyone who came out to help. To look for one today. They also wanted to thank this person, Sadie Pingle. I'm really, really thankful that I could be there. She lives nearby and helped save Samari Coles' life on that tragic night. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have my daughter alive either. Having never met before, she saw Winter's mom running for help the night of July 2nd when police say she was stabbed and sexually assaulted by 26-year-old Rashad Trice. Trice is also accused of kidnapping and two-year-old Winter dumping in an alley in Detroit. It's shocking, but my thoughts were just to, you know, get help. Pingle jumped into action by calling police and driving her to the hospital. She was hurt and her babies needed help and who wouldn't help? Even though the three-day search for Winter did not end how we all wanted it to, the family takes comfort knowing so many, just like Pingle, are there to pick them up whenever they fall. It can happen to anybody. We just want to send out a, a big thank you to everyone. Winter's family will also like to thank law enforcement for their help. So sad, and at his very, very young age, he was already leading up to a life of crime because he already had an intense background, resisting, assaulting police, fleeing, eluding, and some more ish, y'all. Listen to this. This isn't Trice's first time facing felony charges. According to Michigan Department of Corrections, in 2021, Trice faced jail time in Livingston County after pleading guilty for five sentences, including resisting and assaulting an officer and assault with a dangerous weapon. And after speaking to the Livingston County Sheriff, he says with past charges like this, it shows Trice doesn't obey the law. I mean, at what point do you say uh, enough's enough? And from what I understand about this particular guy's criminal history, that probably should have been a while ago. Livingston County Sheriff Michael Murphy says he's all about giving second chances, but sometimes people like Rashad Trice continue a life of crime. This is a person that uh, doesn't conform to societal norms. Trice faced a year in Livingston County Jail for assault with a dangerous weapon, resisting and obstructing a police officer, and fleeing and eluding. Frankly, these are significant charges and you know, if it were up to me and I was a judge, I probably would have sentenced a little bit harsher. Now Trice is facing more charges out of Ingham County after being arrested for this of Winter Smith's mother, including assault with intent and aggravated domestic violence. It's no secret that, you know, when people are in jail, they can't do harm. That part. He is disgusting, a disgusting, disgusting piece of crap. And I'm sure he will get what he deserves because he's right about one thing. His life is over and he will spend the rest of his life behind bars. He goes to court today. So I will be coming back with updates on this piece of crap. But with that being said, guys, I would like to hear y'all thoughts on this. Drop down in the comment box. Let's have the conversation. 
thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And smash that notification bell so y'all see when I drop my, new, my next video. Stay blessed. Peace. Thank you.